Okay, so this point of interest is in the water. Snowy planet. Pretty much always uh, abandoned buildings <laughs> under the water rather than uh, some sort of still active facility. I think time is still ticking while I'm reading this on, on like my breath and <laughs> my oxygen supply probably. One of the Sentinels, they appear on countless worlds without summons or warning. They traverse the galaxies unopposed and enforce their will upon every sentient being they encounter. Who made them? Who gave them the will to police the stars and demand that we bow to their silent rules? The goal of the experiment was to learn the answers to these questions. It began on an uncharted world beneath a blue-white sun far from the axis of civilization. The first drone screamed when it was cut open. Okay, I think this is one of these plaques. Yeah. Yeah, the stuff that comes up over here seems to uh, contribute most of the lore for the universe. Disconnection is not permanent, it is merely the start of a new equation. On Korvax Prime, entities who passed on into the Korvax Echoes left their shell for their descendants. So has been the way of the Korvax, an endless carapace cycle that knows no end. This way will continue, it will continue for as long as our lights still shine. Dive in, maybe it'll give me some momentum. Actually, it really did. <laughs> I got down there really fast. Math puzzle. Okay, so this one is powers of two plus one. So Next one would be 256 plus one. Exciting mathematics gameplay. <laughs> oh, there was one of those that I remember I messed up and I was really irritated. Atlas something or other? Oxides. The electronic life form is processing a signal that emanates from a distant location deep in space. Endless processing units are combining to crack the code of a strange mathematical language. Rare elements are being pulled from the resource vaults at its feet, but some are running low. I feel bright lights constricting and directing their attention upon me. Well, it mentions oxides. I'm gonna guess that it was saying to provide them. Oxides fuel it. So I guess that was the good one. 
All right, but my inventory is full again. So, adios. Okay, sp ah, space station. What the heck? Okay, I just bounced off of the space station. Um, and it fortunately pointed me right at the entrance. Okay, uh, well that, <laughs> that shouldn't have worked. I'm still, like, probably crashing into these walls here. And there's this guy at his coffee machines. I don't know what these are supposed to be. Data. Research. Unavailable. The electronic life form narrows its mask lights in frustration and furiously taps at its workstation. It looks at me with agitation, presumably doubting that a low intelligence being can help it access the terminal. A bypass chip would certainly help here. But whether the life form would appreciate the illegal device is unknown. Hmm. I could just make a bypass chip and try it, even though I don't have one in inventory right now. Data, research, something rather unavailable. Uh, if it's frustrated, I'm gonna think that maybe it's fine with using the illegal device. So, I'll just make one. It worked, and I got something that I already know. Alright, and off to another system. Alright, well let's hope this system has a black hole. Or, well actually, usually I don't find a system. What? So I just hyperdrived straight into the space station and bounced off it, and my ship is fine. I probably have the toughest ship in the universe, and I should never get rid of it. Exalaminu. <laughs> kind of a nice view from up here. <laughs> and that's uh, kind of an interesting rock formation. It's probably not a scannable thing. Rock formations are some kind of big feature. The lights in the electronic life form's mask constrict and it beams a moving image onto the inside of my visor. Complex equations detailing fascinating technologies spin past in a blur. The speed of the entity's cognition and understanding is clearly far beyond my own. Images of chemical formulae, directional energy diagrams, and micro-density devices dance inches from my eyes, too fast to comprehend. I go to ask it to stop, but realize I could instead ask it to pause, but when? Corvid. <laughs> well, that doesn't help me over here at all. So, <laughs> there's probably no bad answer here. It's probably just like what you want out of a blueprint or something. Let's see, chemical formulas. But it's something I already have. 
And they've got these uh, locked doors, but I only have an Atlas Pass V1. So I'm still not able to access those. Possibly because I've forgotten all the, the Atlas stuff. I'm not sure. And dive. I wonder if you could actually go fast enough to still take, like, fall damage crashing into an underwater floor. Okay, so we got some knowledge stones for some more language. Should be able to get this and then grab that protection plant to restore my thermal protection. Ah, this is where the drums were. Where do the Sentinels come from? No ships are ever seen arriving to deposit them, yet we know they have spatial drives and can appear on any planet. Do they build themselves from resources on worlds that they infest, like a mechanoid virus drawing on the host body to metastasize new matter? Korvax science speaks of metals in their makeup that should not exist in our age of the universe. No one has ever seen them built. They are simply here, as if the universe expresses them into existence. Yeah, I do want to know what the deal is with those things. Uh, is there no spot where I can activate that? Should be an encyclopedia teaching me a new word. But I guess I can't. And that thing doesn't work either. This one does. Uh, nope, that is like way too far out in the middle of the water. I'm not gonna bother with that thing. <laughs> and some of the time you, you go after something that's supposed to be way, da way deep down in the water like that and you get there to the location and there's just nothing there. It's like it just glitched maybe underneath the ocean floor somehow or something and you just can't see anything. Oh, so there is there's a reinforced door that I was thinking about before. So I will break into that. Uh, let's free up some inventory. And kill this sentinel. Because otherwise I'll just be calling for help anyway. Not sure whether these ricochets can hit me. Uh, it looks like they can. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? What do we got? Fragmented file has frozen systems. The machine is stuck in a loop trying to open it. I gotta do tech support here. Its deletion could free up the outpost, but the file would be lost forever. Something or other. Data something. Probability high. <sighs> so, yeah, I have no idea which one is the right one. Pretty much a coin flip. Can I imagine any reason why they would say that the probability of something is high? I mean, I don't know whether they'd say, like, probability of failure high. Success probability high. <laughs> uh...
I'll delete the file. It's not my outpost. It works. <laughs> All right, and uh, fuel the ship. And back to the skies. Experiment. Low something. Rare silicate, isotope, or oxide required. The electronic life form flits between three separate replication experiments, all of which appear to be going wrong. Smoke rises from resource vaults, and the manic entity's fingers are a blur on its control pad. It looks at me with wide mask lights and increasing alarm. Its casing lamps suddenly settle on my exos uh, exosuit inventory, and it outstretches a metal arm. I mean, just give anything, apparently. Ah, uh, here, I've got plenty of plutonium. Yeah, they've got two of the same ship in here right now, I think. Those look pretty much identical. <laughs> and whenever you do, they are both the same person. And I don't think... I think if you stay on the ships, they probably won't take off while you're there. I'd be pretty surprised if they did, uh... If they were able to take off with you on top of them, I imagine it would still not, uh... move you anywhere. Alright, but that's everything I want to do in this system. So let's take off. Goodbye, Ex Exelaminu. But at uh, 170,000 light years, 500 at a time, seems like I'll probably have to do this like 34 more times, unless. A space anomaly, which will sh which uh, all the ones I found so far have allowed me to be shown the way to a black hole. This can hopefully shorten the path, and maybe that is <laughs> maybe this thing is why it led me on that little sideways detour in the stars the star map this is i think the fourth one of these i've encountered they're uh, kind of interesting now there are, these two are in different uh, positions than they have been the other times they are the same, uh, same creatures though. Polo and Nada. They have this crazy beam of light. How you doing, Polo? And they're all completely translated. Nuisance pirates, who are they? Who builds their ships? Exciting to fight, though. Polo moves to embrace me when I enter, but I recoil instinctively, trained to defend myself after so many sudden, brutal encounters with ill-tempered wildlife. Disappointment flashes in the Gek's wide eyes. I try to apologize, but the me mechanic talks over me, suggesting that perhaps I would feel more comfortable in the company of pirates. Naturally, they'd attack me on sight, but should I survive, we might glean insight into their technology. So, I guess I can do this because I've destroyed enough hostile ships. Just a blueprint I already know. And this usually has a multi-tool. 
they seem to tend to look a little different than most of them that you run into, I think. The V3.7. Twenty-four slots, I think, is at least the same as my current multi-tool. And, uh... The heck, it's got a 7 in the name. Looks cooler than my current one. Same, it seems... Probably also better, or at the very least, just as good. So let's do it. I can't go back here. What's in there? And what's going on, Nada? Physics simplistic, chemistry arbitrary. Hypothesis, simulation, galaxy not base existence, explore but beware red orb, find flaws in model, exploit, find truth. Yes? No? So the red orb is like the atlas that I have been bewaring. So this guy thinks that uh, the universe that we're in is in the matrix. Or is he just breaking the fourth wall and this guy knows that he's in a game made by Hello Games? Nada is plugged into a bank of instruments as I approach. Suns flare and die on the panels. Voxel molecules pop in and out of existence in matched pairs. I see error messages reeling on the readouts and am perplexed. Nada sees me and explains. There are repeating patterns all across the galaxy. Identical elements where there should be endless divergence. This cannot be a coincidence. Did the Atlas do this? Across the room, Polo giggles. <laughs> so is he actually addressing, like, all the patterns that I'm seeing? Uh, or, like, creatures that are too similar to one another on various planets, and just the general patterns and the repetition that I'm now running into? Which is why I want a shortcut to the center... Thank you, Nada. Alright. I suppose I will still proceed to... explore this galaxy... or this system, and then head to that black hole. Uh, but for now, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.